Welcome everyone to a look at Immortal Redneck. This is, well actually, Jacob, you describe it because you're the one who bought this game for me. Sure, this is a, um, it's a roguelite FPS based in Egypt where you play as a redneck who crashed his ATV and got like kidnapped by ancient Egyptians and imbued with the power of Egyptian gods. This is a game I really liked. I first watched it on a uh, German 985 stream and I've since bought it on both PC and Switch, and I love it. It's a very addictive game, very simple, very fun shooting mechanics, and a good skill tree that that kind of really rewards you for essentially dying at the right times. Now you have told me, play with the voices off. Um, I'm going to play them well, with on at first to see why. Yeah, I mean, it's not now that I've recently started playing it again when I bought it on Switch, it's not as bad as I remember. Um, he doesn't like talk constantly like what I remember, but when he talks, it's still not funny. The main character is easily the worst part about this game. The Immortal Redneck is the worst part of the Immortal Redneck. Sadly. <laughs> Do you like that, though? <laughs> Yeah, you can jump. The platforming in this game is shockingly solid. It feels really good. It does feel pretty good. So you get gold, which of course you can spend on upgrades. Feels pretty smooth. Oh yeah, it's it's this game is like really well made. And it's actually it's way better now than it was early at launch, because I remember one of the biggest um, complaints of this game at launch was the weapon sounds were really weak and they were, but they updated it. So it, they, it got better. It got some meat to it. Yeah, especially the shotgun. The shotgun used to sound awful, but now it's it, it, the shotgun used to be awful. But they buffed it crazy. And now, honestly, like at first, like right now, you Later in the game, you get to unlock the powers of different Egyptian gods that you can choose one at the beginning of a run. Uh, you start off just with Redneck, um, who has a shotgun, pistol, and a dynamite stick. And his special ability is that he gets to an increased rate of fire for a specific amount of time. Uh, but you get other ones later. But Redneck is actually very competent. You can honestly enjoy him for quite a while, even before you even before you unlock anybody else. Those little guys were weirdly adorable. The, the enemies in this game are super cute. It's a weird contradiction between the main character, because this game is rated M, essentially just for language. Because <laughs> he does drop a few fucks, and when you get hurt, he just occasionally just goes like, FUCK! Like, there's not a lot of gore or blood in this game. There is, There are fucks. He has many fucks to give. Yes. And of course, each floor is randomly generated. It's, it's one of those where the... It's like each room is a puzzle piece, and the pieces are, like, shifted around each time. It's not like every room is completely randomly generated. There's potential money. Money! Don't worry, you'll get plenty of it. Also, the pots, you can run through them to break them, but at, at first there's nothing in them, but you there could be things in them later. I'll explain some more mechanics when you get to them so I don't, like, spoil everything. Sure. You playing with a controller? Yeah. Cool. I could easily play it with uh, keyboard and mouse. I can right, but, with the game, DS, but the game works well with a controller, especially on Switch, because the auto, like, the aim correction is very generous, at least on the Switch version. I don't know if it's the same on PC with a controller, but, like, you, your reticle could be a fair bit off, and it'll still auto-generate, or auto-generate, auto-aim a bit to the enemy. Oh, shit. 
shite. Yeah, those guys are chonkers. There are a handful of enemies that you'll grow to hate. Those guys, mm, like the big boys, they're not too bad, but they do. They are pretty tough if you don't have the right weapons. Luckily, the shotgun is absolutely the right weapon. Oh, <laughs> especially when they fall down from the fucking ceiling. Is there locational damage on enemies? I think so. If the enemy has a head, then I believe there are headshots. There are also crit, uh, random crits in this game, too. So every now and again, you'll get like a boom critical hit. Crits and FPSs, I feel like, should be related to where you shot them. Yeah. Especially in multiplayer games. But then again, I, I think that everybody learned the lesson from Team Fortress 2, except for Team Fortress 2. That game has random crits still, even though no one likes them. Oh, the Tesla coil. This this gun fucking it zips like if you shoot one enemy, the uh, laser will go to another nearby enemy. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. It, it, it's damage is a little bit lower, but it's really good for groups. Yeah, the ancient Egyptian lightning gun. I feel like the whole redneck motif is just an excuse to give the character guns. I don't even want to know what that was. I feel a rumbling in my controller, and so I feel like there's something stomping around. No idea where uh, it is, though. Oh, yeah. It's another sarcophagus. Probably down there. Hey, the sarcophagus shoots out little mummies that run around and be like, yeah! Enemies in this game are like... They're, they're, they're like so cute, they're almost out of place. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You have to kill everything in a move, uh, room to move on. Yes, you do. With the rumbling of the controller, it feels like I'm getting shot a lot more than I actually am. Right. I don't remember it rumbling too terribly much when I was playing. I like how they turn to sand when they die. I don't think that happens on the Switch version, actually. I may be totally wrong on that. The Switch, of course, is uh, graphically downgraded. It's much lower resolution. The textures aren't and lighting aren't quite as nice. That's a solid version. A little rough around the edges. I have had the game freeze on me at loading screens a few times. But this game is just perfect for just pulling out like on your lunch break or something. Specifically mine. What exactly is the money supposed to be? When you die, you, sp uh, you spend the money on upgrades. Rogue and the like. The Kind of the opposite of Dark Souls. Oh. No Ooh, thanks. A scroll. You can reject the next scrolls. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> these are scrolls. You got probably the most uninteresting one to start. Um, <laughs> so every now and again, enemies will drop scrolls that give you a certain effect. Um, that give you a certain effect that are that is of course random. 
Some of them are really positive, like increasing damage, increasing your uh, speed, making it so you're immune to certain like hazards or attacks. Others are very negative, like decreasing your defense, uh, making it so you can only run, uh, fucking resetting the entire uh, floor. Or my favorite, I, I don't want to. I say I don't want to spoil them all, but you're probably not going to see them all in like for your first playthrough anyway. There's one that just changes all the text in the game to hieroglyphic. That would be obnoxious. It is. It's very obnoxious. Some of them are definitely negative effects. Honestly, this weapon, I can never find a, an, uh, I can never find an efficient way to use this one. Uh oh, oh, you're getting low. Yeah, I am. One nice Dude. little effect is when you're low on when you're low on health, the all the audio gets a little muffled, so you don't get too don't feel too safe. I mean, when I hear roguelike, I expect to die a little earlier than I have so far, at least. Well, you're you're pretty close already, so I'd say this is an average time to die. There's a Bond movie name. An average time to die. This is also a game where the subtitles rarely match up with what he's actually saying, which yeah. pisses me off so much. Like, a lot of times they're not even close. Over time, you'll learn which weapons you like more, too. And you'll get really excited when you find one you do. Oh, the little baby one. No, there's still one I'm missing. Luckily, this game thought of having big rooms with uh, like one enemy hiding because if you're in there for long enough, the, you can uh, if you're in there for long enough, you will be able to see enemies through walls after a while. Yep. So you're never going to be like, yep, there. You're never going to scour looking for this one last guy that you just can't find. That's a cool detail. I like that mechanic. Seeing enemies through walls? Yeah, after a point, yeah. at least. Yeah, absolutely. That door is probably upstairs. Yeah. I think that solid squares are upstairs and the ones that are just kind of lines are downstairs doors. Oh, snap. Helsing pistol. Helsing pistol. This is hmm. Helsing pistol's good. It has a slower rate of fire, but I think it does more damage. You can swap out, um, when you pick up a weapon, you can swap out whatever you're holding, so. I'm not really using you the dynamite. Launcher. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the dynamite so much. Its rate of fire is so slow. Oh, potato launcher, that's what that thing is. I, I, every time I pick it up, I miss the name. The tater tosser. The tater tosser, now that's a, that's a missed opportunity right there. Or just tater toss. Oh, that's a game. The Potato Nader. That's much better. The Tater Nader. The Potato Nader. Oh yeah, this thing's pretty badass. Oh, that's a big box of ammo over there.
Oh yeah. And the beef. Okay, now I'm not completely in the red. Yeah. I feel like you're gonna go a while on your first uh first playthrough. Those little wiggling, piggling platforms there, if you stand on them, a, a geyser of lava comes out underneath so you can get up there. Well, what kind of sniper would I be? True. The classic pistol sniper. For when I don't have a sniper rifle. This right here looks like a room I think I saw when you streamed this game. Yeah, I streamed this game like three years ago. The VOD's still up on my fucking Twitch, which I used very sparsely. Oh, the fucking Ram Pigs. These things are bastards. If you don't have the Helsing Pistol. Yeah. This weapon's better than I remember. I mean, I remember it being pretty good. In the butt. <laughs> Where? Pretty much back at full health now. Just about. Let's see how long that lasts. That takes out those guys in one shot. Heard something gross. Oh, it's the little guys. They're not gross at all. I love the way they wiggle. <laughs> what is... Oh, it's... It hid stuff. It's like a spider's nest. Yeah. Does the ammo only go to the gun you're carrying or to all your weapons? Uh, all of your weapons. Mind you, Tower of Guns. I've heard that game's fun. I don't know anything about it, though. Oof, this guy's annoying, too. I'm sure. When you, when you first... <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> When you first shoot him, he teleports somewhere else. Bosses have less health. If you make it to a boss, that'll be very useful. I mean, there's a lot of rooms, and there's no set pa path that I can discern. No. You kind of just wander around until you find a staircase, which you have. Was that where I was oh, supposed to go? Yeah, the staircase leads you to the next floor, which uh, gives you progress. Each well, it didn't look like there has... was a door down there, though. No, you're in the you're in the stairwell room right now. It's in the middle. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the stairs in that earlier room. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. So each uh, pyramid has, I want to say, six, seven floors. And if you get through them all, you unlock the next pyramid, which has different rooms, different enemies, different bosses. I got a beginner achievement for that. There is a set path. You're in Egypt, after all. Blah, 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 blah. Enemies are going to be rougher today. Yeah. And I've got a scratch. Mm. I like these little fucking whale dinosaur guys. <laughs> yeah. They have been the death of me a few times because I tend to run into them when I'm low on health and when you're in a confined space, their projectiles are hard to dodge. Oh, 
Oh no, I didn't want to fall down. Whoa, whoa. I'm protected. That mask on the wall looked like Majora's mask. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, a little bit. Over there, yeah. I like the mask combined with the statue. I expected the music to be a little more red, rednecky. Nah, uh, it's pretty much everything except your main character is pretty much all the Egyptian motif. Yeah, right, as dog. This is it's very Doom and Serious Sam, uh, and it does get more difficult. Thorn's just playing really well and getting a lot of uh, meat drops. I'm used to FPSs. Yeah. Oh, those are spikes. Yep. <laughs> those will get you. Ooh. Those. Those didn't tickle. Oh, somebody had a laser. Human serious, serious Sam aren't randomized and focus more on hectic fast action. Right, but what if they were randomized? That would be tight. I need to play Serious Sam more. I've only played the demo of the HD game, the HD remaster. And I thought it was great. Those Beamos? Oh! Another scroll. You can getting, getting all the good scrolls, good. Yeah, that one will be more useful right now. Yeah. I just love how the first scroll you got was you can deny scrolls. Like, here's this mechanic. Here's the option to not use it. Have a scroll or don't. Oh yeah, there's not too many like huge hordes of enemies or anything. They do get they do gang up on you, but it's not a, a very large amount. I think that the comparisons to Serious Sam are more how the game feels, like the guns and the running around. The game's very fast. Oh yeah, every now and again you get these little challenge rooms. You complete the challenge, you get a nice little reward at the end. If I survive the challenge. Oh, oh yeah. Did I complete the challenge? Nope, not in here. There's another way. Ah. Yeah, this one specifically. I, rem I remember this one. You can't waste any time with this specific room. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> well, then what the <laughs> hell am I supposed to do now? Do I have to go all the way back? I think so. There's no fall damage, though, so if you want to just drop down. I mean, I lost all my health getting here. Unfortunately. First person platforming. 
you have to be the right kind of developers to handle that and i think these guys were it doesn't feel too bad I know those are frogs. Oh, frogs, yeah. Why did I think they were crickets? That's a little crickety. <laughs> Galaxy Force, these jackal guys sound like frogs. Well, I mean, that's their prerogative, but I mean, there's also some frogs down here. They die very quickly to the Tesla. This feels cheap, yet I don't care. The Tesla coil, I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage on its own, so by all means. I mean, just hiding up in the corner over there. Eh, they're frogs. They're stupid. Already using a gun, a coward's weapon to begin with. Well, I mean, <laughs> Redneck here doesn't have much in the way of fists. Or self respect, I imagine. Nah. God, I can't believe he didn't get hit that time. I will say I am digging this. Oh yeah, this game's addictive as hell. Because the shooting just feels so good. Like, it's pretty much all you do, but it feels good enough that that it doesn't really matter. It never feels really monotonous or anything. Your shooting's good, Tex. Got a crit, we'll see if that actually helps. It kind of... It can be noticeable. There is a stat that increases the amount of damage your crits do. I appreciate if they were, that if you're not right next to them, they're kind of useless. What? These chunky boys. Yeah. But they do, they, they'll clobber you if they sneak up on you. There are levels in this game? Yes. Um, like, your goal in each floor is to find the stairs up to the next floor. And uh, once you complete a pyramid, you move on to the next one. There are three pyramids. I've only gotten as far as the second. Tranquilizer gun. Tranquilizer gun? Would that be at all useful? Uh, I don't... I don't remember it being very good. You can certainly try, because it's a game of tastes, kinda. Like, I don't like the potato launcher, but you've been making some good use of it. Said no to that one, because I have not been at full health since I started. <laughs> yeah. fires quickly. It does. I do I like the Tesla though. 
I haven't really been using a potato gun. I think I'm just gonna go pistol run. <laughs> All pistols. Stat levels, yeah. You can increase your stats um, with the money you earned. You can spend it all at the after you die. Now just figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. There are a limit to how many scroll effects you can have? No, I don't think so. Oh, I forgot about this like feature the game has. It has Twitch integration. I don't think it'll work on YouTube, but it has Twitch integration where every like three or so minutes, uh, well, always rather, but at the every three or so minutes, a poll ends and you can have your viewers vote on what scrolls they give you. That could be chaotic because you get a lot more scrolls than normal in that. Oh shit, this is a stairwell room. I didn't... I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Only the best scrolls, I'm sure. It depends on if chat likes you or not. Oh, oh no! I've cultivated an audience of positivity. Yeah. So you would just be overpowered. Like, that's the thing. Your chat will either, either make everything extremely difficult for you if they're one of those fucking meme chats, or if they just want to help you succeed, then they'll just make you horribly overpowered. So the tranquilizer gun did make him freeze in place, and then I OD'd him. Got the <laughs> Still need a barbecue. In a way. <laughs> tranquilizer gun. I don't think I've used the flare gun, so this will be up to your discretion. I like the loadout I've got so far. Yeah, it's a good one. So you can either find the stairwell or you can do a little more exploring. I think I'm gonna explore. Good. Wow, he freezes for a long time. Maybe I should use this gun. A scroll that gives you a left arm. I have not seen one. Oh, there's a guy right above me. Those guys are tough too because they have a lot of health and they can hit you from a from a pretty far distance. Not if they can't see me. Getting this real bad crank in my shoulder. Whole time I was thinking, how do I get up there? Turns Maybe out use the, the crank platforms. was death. Yeah, I have a left arm. You just can't. I believe the question was, can you dual wield? And you <laughs> cannot. It's a very creative way to ask. I'm nearly out of ammo for the trank. I like it though. I'm gonna hang on it onto it in case I get more ammo. And you will. This game gives you just enough where if you're not like just wasting it, you're always gonna have something to do. All right. Well, I made it to uh, through two levels so far. Yeah. You got you got some good luck with weapons, and you're just playing well. So. There's a purple fog filter now, and that reminds me of some of the harder levels of the Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons. Oops. Ones I could not beat. Where'd the hell? Sometimes the starting rooms are unnecessarily elaborate. I don't know why.
think he went. Damn! Shit. Damn! Oh, <laughs> just really backed up into the lava. I just, <laughs> just imagine that scene in Metal Gear Solid 4 where Ocelot was running backwards away from Snake. It's like, oh fuck, fell in lava. In Alaska. Monkey bots. The Tesla's really good for the little eyeball spider nest dudes. Yeah, I was just, just I was just about to say that those things are pretty much made to be killed by the That's Tesla coil. Gun, buddy, but you sure pack some boom. Grandpa's blunderbuss. Uh, I forget if this is good or not. It's like a little shotgun that reloads faster. Tesla coil. <laughs> she says a Tesla. Tesla coil. Hmm. Well, uh, I think I still like my loadout. Yeah, it's good. it's been treating you good, and you've been using a good variety of them. How am I missing this guy? There he goes. I think you're hitting the pole. Oh god, this is a bad place. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the fucking monkeys. Or the pole dancers or whatever, the monkey pole dancers. I don't know if you're hitting them from that far. Oh, no, there you go. Just take some patience. Just meat. Yeah. It looked so it looked like some kind of red rune that was supposed to heal you, but nope, it's a chunk of meat. Uh, yep. I will share one funny line. Uh, there is a um, a god that you can unlock that lets you turn items into uh, meat with the press of a button. And when you spawn with her power, <laughs> Redneck just goes, so she can turn shit into steak? <laughs> Sounds like something you would have written. <laughs> that one. Yeah, a recent playthrough has made, definitely shown me that the main character is not as annoying as I remember him. Still not very funny, but he's not grating. I think they've... It could be a lot... Like the idea of a redneck as a character in any capacity is rife with bad potential. Yeah. Yep, no vegetarian pyramid. Mm -hmm. The vegetarian redneck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, meat is murder, so I guess I'll just die. Well, I'm murdering anyway. 
Yeah, that wouldn't really work. Why aren't I tranking these guys? That's what this is for. My god, there's so many of those whale guys up there. I saw all of their fucking projectiles flying around like shooting stars. There's a banana on my desk. I should probably put that back in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh yeah, there, there go all the projectiles. Blah! God, you're getting so much health. Well, I need it. I lose it just as quickly. I know, but I don't rem I never get this much meat. Oh man. You're in trouble. Oh. It was almost clobber in time. Yeah, not great accuracy from a distance. But sometimes I land a hit. It's a barrier diet more than Jacob. Listen, if you're referring to the Taco Bell, I never eat there anymore. Uh, now my diet is mostly, mostly turkey sandwiches and bananas with peanut butter. Much better. I guess. It is at least real food. Technically. So I, th I think I figured out the reticle. If it's green, then it's like, it's not a guarantee it's gonna hit. If it's red, it is. No. Mm. Not, not quite, no. Uh, the, the color determines their health. If it's green, they ah. have high health. If it's red, they're close to dying. Still almost accurate. With that one shooting. Ooh, a scroll. Where did that get there? I haven't even been using my active skill. I'm not even sure I what never it is. use mine either. So I only use it when I use the uh, uh the one that turns shit into steak. <laughs> even then I tend to forget that one too. Redneck did not want to pick up the money. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that's about. There it goes. I think oh there you go. I don't know why I wouldn't pick it up. Be full on money? I'd certainly hope not. Oh be a weird cap. You cannot have more than 3,829 bucks. Beat your first boss! The Pharaoh. Oh! Yeah. These weapons that you have, they've been good for you up, up to now, but they're not exactly boss killers, except for, I guess, the Helsing pistol. Can't say I'm surprised or disappointed. Throw a weapon? I don't think so. Right. I never used that feature either. Oh, but now you're in trouble. Be sure to kill the mummies because they're your only chance to get drops. Get a drop. Headphones almost fell off. If he 
you make it through Ooh, this, I'm buying you another go. copy of the game. All right, good thing you died, because... <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it for you on Switch if you fucking live through that. There you go. So now you can spend your money on some upgrades. You can also buy some other gods that you can use if you're interested. What's that one over there? I forget. I think it's Apis. What does he have again? I forget what Apis's weapons are. There's Seth. Temporary invincibility. Rusty revolver, Uzi, Gatling gun, grenade launcher. Oh, yeah, you can hold four weapons right off the bat with Apis. So his weapons that he starts with aren't great, but you can hold more. And of course, that temporary invincibility could be pretty good, too. Look at how white it goes. I want a free weapon. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> Just focus in on the upgrades this time uh, for your first round, eh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sekhmet is the health-based one. Her weapons to start off with are pretty bad, but she's good for in increasing your health over time. The Redneck is super solid. You, It's hard to go wrong with his, um, his loadout. Oh, the skill tree actually grows as you level up. Yeah, you can even see the tree growing like outside the menu. like the fed fucking government that's actually a, Not bad for a almost logical for reason for why headshots don't work they don't have brains oh yeah yeah i think i was totally wrong when i said that they were headshots What the shit? <laughs> uh oh. He's stuck in a wall. God, I am such shit at Rogue Legacy. I bought it for cheap. I think it was on good old games. I think I may have got it free, actually. I only played it a little bit. I'm very bad at it. Damn, you're fucking drowning in beef. <laughs> like, even when you don't need it, it's like, here, have a fucking barbecue. Does this play good? Yes, I think it does. Game is very satisfying to play, and even the platforming works well, and, and that's so hard to pull off in a first-person game. Thorn Drowning in Beef 2019. I mean, we can't all be so lucky. Or so cursed. Depends on your view and what you define as beef in literal or slang terms. Orc doesn't count. <laughs> A pork just means totally some some totally different. You're drowning in like raw ground beef. Or maybe you're just drowning in muscular men. I can confirm that I'm not. 
I'm just imagining this room full, like literally <laughs> full of fucking muscular, muscu like an overstuffed <laughs> closet. Yeah, they're I'm all just... wiggling and desperate for air. Help! We're so pretty, but we can't move. <laughs> or the Hamburglar, that too. <laughs> no, just one of them is the Hamburglar. such a corporate piece of shit. I get commercials stuck in my head all the time. The minimap in this game is great. Very easy read, super useful. Shotgun actually very good against those guys. Absolutely. I, I never let go of the shotgun. Such a far cry, because like I said, when this game first came out, the shotgun was useless. Yes, pick that time when I'm sitting right in front of the archer to reload. Of ammo. And now you're out of health. <laughs> Sit back and let them come to me. I am unsure of this strategy. I'm almost mad about how many health upgrades you're getting. <laughs> or health items, rather. It's like, oh, you, you got you stubbed your toe here. Have have, have 20 health. Well, well, meanwhile, I'm like, oh, I got 20 health left. Um, eat the sand. That That's good enough, right? Holy shit, what a shortcut you just took. This is like Joe's time without the booze. Fart. Fart. <laughs> Good impersonation of the character. <laughs> Fart. God damn, Did you it. were fucking you were fucking ready. You get turret mode. That one's pretty useful. A crowbar? Uh, not great. You can certainly give it a try. You don't seem to be using the dynamite at all anyway. I don't care for the dynamite. Yeah, I don't like it either. There's certainly better explosives. Through infinite ammo. The infinite ammo weapons in this game tend to be of lower quality. Like, you get them because of their infinite ammo. Farted in the lava. <laughs> Farted and then the fucking... Just the lava, like, attracted to the gas. Like a fire. Which, you know... Tends to go with lava. <laughs> Preferred weapon of scientists everywhere. The the animations are also they also look absolutely ripped right from Half Life too, don't they? Yeah, well, I mean, I just got the achievement, or at least one third of an achievement called Nostalgia. 
Oh, really? It's a direct reference, I guess. Let's try it out against a room on... Yep, it has a bunch of flying enemies. Fuck that. Get down here! I'm just sounding more like Peppy. Peppy in this game saying fuck. I can't imagine. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fucking damn it, Fox! <laughs> I'm definitely convinced Peppy's never said fuck in his life. I accidentally activated my ability. The, that, that tends to be the only time I activate my, my ability too. Accidentally. Shove the stake up my butt. The hitboxes feel pretty good. Like, yeah. I'm seeing the bullets whizzing right past my face, but because they didn't actually connect with me, I'm not getting hit. This game definitely favors you in terms of, like, getting hit. That seems more like the type to say, gold darn it to me. Gold oh, darn it. Oh, ass ripping. <laughs> no, your father ripped my ass once. Because I said his son was ugly. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I'm talking to Falco. <laughs> oh my god, uh, you think so too? <laughs> I like shooting these frogs when they're in midair and they just they keep following their trajectory as they're dead. I know. Now the game with some pretty good ragdoll physics. I'm glad Yo Yoshi's move is going well, but I'm also really itching to get back to recording Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, I just finished editing part five. Four and five, it's I guess. So, so fucking good. I can't wait for the rest of the series. Part five, just as a teaser for folks, we recorded, well, we recorded bo both four and five when my allergies were really bad. Part five, is the point where you can audibly hear me no longer care. Ah. But also, like, I just can't take any shit that day. And it sort of makes it funnier. It does, in a weird way. It certainly makes them memorable, I do remember that. Oh, just a free little... Yeah, every now and again you find a room that just has a treasure chest and nothing else. Oh, this one's mixed. It can't stop running. I'm one of those people who always runs anyway, but if you, you are clearly not, so this could get on your nerves. I mean, it just I just seem faster. You are, but it makes platforming a little trickier. Uh, I see. Oh, not you guys again. Oh, you'll see plenty of the fucking pig goats. Oats. Oats or gets gigs? Like, gigs. Wait, goat pigs. I like gets. Gets. It's not yeah, one to one, gets. but it's a very English word, isn't it? You fucking get. I think I've heard that before. Any English folk in chat can clarify that get is an English insult. It is. Yeah. All right. You're the next closest thing. I just watch a lot of British television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the snakes. I want a plush of the snakes. 
with little felt teeth. They'll bite you. Frustration or just accidentally? Because either or seems to happen. What happened? At the loading screen said you can break, like there's nothing in the jars, but you can break them to vent your frustration. <laughs> yeah. There are some scrolls that you can get that add things to the jars. So it gives them a purpose. But it is kind of confusing at first because it, they definitely seem like the kind of things where every once in a while you'll find an item in them, but you don't. So they're just aesthetic. For now, anyway. that one. Felt the heat from that arrow on my tummy. It tickled and it singed. Ooh, this is different. Energy gloves. I've never used this weapon before. It's pretty tight, though. Not particularly powerful, but then it is infinite ammo. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it is. Wow, this is shit. <laughs> infinite ammo weapons do tend to be. There's an onk you can get. It's just awful. It's basically this with half the rate of fire. I got an achievement. Or I, I'm, I'm progressing in the achievement heavy load. I'm not quite sure that it's for. Me either. I think there are achievements in the Switch version too. Oh, no, no, they're not. Never mind. I was thinking of Cuphead. It's Cuphead still has all the achievements, even though it's on Switch. The rooms are random but they're like pieces of a puzzle. So they they move around. Always making me sad whenever the treasure chests don't have a scroll in them. <laughs> you just thwack these guys with the crowbar. Probably wasn't yeah, the smart decision. Idea. Nope. Oh, you're so low. Don't worry. They'll give you a fucking... a goddamn entire neighborhood barbecue here in the next room, I'm sure. And Margaret and her barbecue sauce. That's what her husband calls it. Ugh. More of the whale dinosaurs. Oh. The blue boxes are ammo, yeah. Oh! Damn! Didn't last nearly as long, despite the power-ups.
Ooh. I won't have... Yeah, I knew I wouldn't have enough for that, but... Get an extra oh. jump by eating more meat. Hmm. Some doing? sort of southern mummy? Kinda. You're a redneck who crashed his ATV and was kidnapped by ancient Egyptians and mummified. Your art style reminds me of Slime Rancher. In a weird way, yeah. Kinda, yeah. More violent, and more instances of the word fuck. Slime Rancher, rated M because Beatrix says fuck once. In, the, in like, the good ending. Fuck, I'm great. <laughs> fuck, Casey. <laughs> I can't believe I remember the character's name. I briefly forgot it. <laughs> oh. I'm reminded because I got that game free on the Epic Store. What game is free on the Epic Store right now? Is it worth opening the store to get it? Anybody know? Because lately it, they haven't really been games I've cared about. Redneck's doing it again. Pick up the damn money. I don't know why that does that. It's some kind of glitch. Because I've run into that a time or two as well. up on the empty side. Oh, that's a lot of frogs. <laughs> it's like that hallway just barfed them out. The frog womb. The froom. The froom. Or the wog. Oh, don't remind me of the wally wogs. The final boss of that game should have been a giant wally wog. Fuck him. I would have never beaten him. I don't think Wallywogs are as lovable, quote unquote, as the Bulborbs. No, they're not. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, so they wouldn't be able to sell any plushes or anything. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Well, this, that's about as good as a scroll as you can get. Wait, do they sell plushes of Emperor Bullblacks? I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I'm sure it would now. sell better than an Emperor Wallybog. Yeah. Wallywog sounds like something my sister watched as a toddler. Hello, children. Welcome to the Wallywogs. Watch out. They'll jump on you and crush your bones. Wallywog, the water wumpley. That's what he says when he's hungry. That's what he says when he's not. He doesn't say much. If he knows what's good for him. Zoom in. This is reminding me of this storyline that's going on right now in WWE. Where they, <laughs> they took this... 
It took. <laughs> it's. It's. I swear, it's more relevant than you think. Um, first of all, you see the scroll. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, very useful. Um, they they took this character who was like this evil cult leader guy, and they they repackaged him as a children's TV show host, and where he's like acting like redeemed for the shit he's done before but he's still extremely creepy it's currently like the only good thing happening in wwe right now that is a good story it's it is it's great it's called the firefly funhouse he hasn't wrestled yet it's just been a bunch of extremely entertaining vignettes that even if you don't watch wrestling i highly recommend watching them they're so they're just so <laughs> so like they're not funny they're not they're they're disturbing like there's this like there are these characters there's like abby the witch who's this horrifying like gothic creepy doll there's a rambling rabbit who's this fucking really unnerving rabbit puppet that ends up dying in like the third skit <laughs> and there's uh Mercy the vulture who kills Ramblin' Rabbit, who's just this really depressed vulture that lives in a box. <laughs> it's so I need to show you this shit after. Did this we write screen. this? <laughs> it does. It, it does kind of remind me, remind me of us. Like everyone agrees, like WWE's been very bad lately for a myriad of reasons, both in and out of the product. But this, that, that it has been a fucking beacon of hope. What's it called again? A Firefly Funhouse. Need to make sure to watch them and watch these skits in order, though. It's got like a weird plot to it. Egyptians call it a shift. Rednecks, we call it a toothpick. Okay, well, where'd my good gun go? Hmm. How does this compare to the pistol? The kunai? Oh, it's great. The kunai is very good. Sorry, I was distracted by fucking thinking about Firefly Funhouse. I didn't even realize you picked it up. It's it, it's rate of fire is really slow, but it does incredible damage. The kunai is, in my opinion, one of the best weapons in the game. It's also pretty scarce on ammo, too, so you got to watch out. Guess that's fine. I mean, I don't have to reload every time I use it. <laughs> Blue Magnus Stormcrow. Mmm, bacon of hope. Delicious. Oh, I've still got the map. I guess I, I haven't gotten rid of the squirrels. Ah, shit. Buffy, part of me wishes this game had the budget to get Jeff Foxworthy to voice the character. <laughs> Jacob, when are you running through Pikmin 2? I just started this morning. I didn't get very far. I can't tell if I like it more than the first one yet or not. But it's more Pikmin, so I'm probably going to love it. It's a little more mechanically reliable. Yes, it is. I've immediately noticed that the swarm mechanic is now functioning. The only thing is, like I said in the Pikmin 1 LP, 2 and 3 don't have the atmosphere of the first one. Like the danger? Yeah. Because Pikmin 1 felt dire, and I love that. And it's kind of sad that 
I kind of I kind of prefer the timing because I was talking to Yoshi about this earlier that I the, the best game I could compare it to is Dead Rising because that's a game that doesn't do it well like having a timed game because Dead Rising it's an open world game that's like it's begging to be goofed off in like you could just hit shit with whatever that's so much fun but you can't waste any time so you can't do that with pikmin the entire game is based around the time and i there's something i like about games that tell you how long they are right from the start when they do it right anyway unlike dead rising i like dead rising but i wish it wasn't timed are, are three and four timed or good <laughs> I only hear people talk about Dead Rising 1 and 2, which both look very good. I heard 3 was mediocre and 4 wasn't good. Ah. The marketing for 3 said we're going for the Call of Duty audience. It's like, yeah. Oh, th no. Those are clearly the people who played Dead Rising in the first place. Yeah, I know, right? That's a really bad idea. What if Frank West was in Smash? <laughs> That'd be kind of tight, actually. Okay, so ancient Egyptian turrets. Yeah, yeah ancient catapults, more like. That makes more sense. Yeah. Ancient Egyptian catapult monkeys. Not to be confused with Catapult Turtle from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wait, I found the stairwell already. Yeah. If you're in a special room, it'll be marked on your map. Because like, this one has that little stairwell icon on it. Yeah. There's a treasure chest. It'll say that as well. I'll reach the chest. These rooms are easy because there's no stakes. You can get hurt. You can take as much time as you want. I guess the platforming is more challenging a little bit. I forget, is this the run where you had the always running scroll? That was the last one. Okay. That is pretty nice. Because sometimes I kill an enemy on the other side of the room. Right. Assault rifle. Yeah, I think you need a little range. You got two you got basically two shotguns and a super slow weapon. Yeah. I'll keep the regular assault shotgun. Rifle. Yeah, the, the regular shotgun's awesome. The assault rifle's pretty good too. I think it's good for boss fights. Because last time, like, you were really unfortunately equipped for that boss. <laughs> the slowdown did me great until I needed it. <laughs> Kind of stuns them while it's hitting them. A little bit. I think they're just always stunned when you hit them, but it's hardly noticeable or useful because everything else fires pretty slowly. That one was unfortunately placed. <laughs> Into the lab. I'm really liking the rifle. Pretty good. Fully automatic weapons don't come easy in this game. I mean, I would like to make a little more money. 
Yeah, man, you're broke. Oh yeah, the aim assist is definitely in this too. Like I can tell you're, it's kind of automatically going to a place where you're not aiming. I'd probably feel, if I started playing this game again, it'd definitely feel good after playing Saints Row the Third on Switch. Ah, oh, the onk, don't even bother. I'm like, normally I'm like, hey, give it a try, Thor, and you know, just uh, determine what weapons you like. The onk is shit. I'm not gonna let you. Yep, there you go. There's your, uh, there's your interactivity with the, uh, with the jars. They can help with enemies, but they'll still explode when you run into them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and right, my brain is so trained to just run into them. It's another infinite ammo weapon but its rate of fire is so low and it does so little damage. Like, I'm, I'm just going to tell you straight up, don't bother. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's what shit to stake lady starts with as, a, <laughs> as one of her weapons. Her name is Sekhmet. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> yep, exactly. I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm so trained to break the pots that I hate that scroll more than anything. So Ankh only run when? I think that an Ankh only run would literally take the rest of Thorn's life. I mean, it, it, so it would require me to start with it, which I can't yet, and to beat the game. Right. Oh, which I'm... Whoa, where the hell do you come from? <laughs> I have no mother. Player gun again? No. What are you buying? Oh, no. Uh-oh, which one's it replacing? Uh, it replaced the assault rifle, but with a rocket launcher. Uh, that's not bad. At least one good, uh, one good boss killer with another one. I mean, I did like the assault rifle. Yeah, I, that's a shame. Quite good utility. And you're still kind of lacking in range other than the kunai now. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button to dash. We've been playing a game where that is dash. Yeah, uh, Sekiro. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've actually had that problem because on Switch I've been playing both Dark Souls and Saints Row the Third. I tried running with B and A in Saints Row the Third, and I just kind of jumped and punched at the same time. I was like, what's happening? Oh, wait. Wrong <laughs> game. Hashtag Saints Row the Third is a super rough port, but it's still a good game, so it's at least still fun. It's a very long hashtag. I'm going to tweet that right now. <laughs> it's within the character limit. Whee! <laughs> Get it trending, boys. Hashtag Saints Row the Third on Switch is a really rough port, but is at least still a good game, so that saves it. no door over here. I thought there was another way on that at the end of that uh, hallway. 
Doesn't seem to be actually looking at the map. No, there's no door. Yeah, it's a roguelite. I've seen that question asked a few times. This game is a roguelite. So it's got rooms that are arranged randomly. To someone else, that first rocket would have been a waste. But to you, it was glory. The kunai are also very accurate. Yes, I think they're one to one accurate all the time. As long as you can not, aim. And when they're not, you're auto aiming to, end, to an enemy anyway. This game's reticle is so forgiving. And honestly, that helps out a lot, especially when playing with a controller. Ah, the fucking... T yep. <laughs> it, you will never get used to that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh my god. Can't believe I've been reminded of that song. <laughs> Pickle radish mayonnaise. <laughs> Much better. Buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. We got two of them. You just keep killing the mummy as soon as he comes out of the sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah. Go, my son. All right. Go, my Go, ship. my son. Okay. <laughs> Go, my damn it. Go, my damn it. <laughs> you know, now I just need to remember how to get to the stairwell. There you it is, can down use there. your map. Oh, or you can use your eyeballs. And not your map. Yeah, your mini map. Wow, it was only two rooms away from the starting room. Yeah. I didn't realize just how quickly you got there. It's like Tower of Guns, but in Egypt. This is the second person to, to, to compare it to Tower of Guns. I need to take a look at this game like right now. Oh shit, I forgot I downloaded Warframe on my Switch. I need to try that out. It's free. Oh yeah, that reminds me that fucking Realm Royale was just ported to Switch. It, Realm Royale is like Fortnite without everything I hated about Fortnite. So once it goes free, I am absolutely downloading that and playing it all the time. Because if it's anything like how Paladins did, it's like, okay. The paid version, the the Founders Pack or whatever, yeah, that'll be on there for a month, and then after that, it'll go free to play. Oh, there was a guy behind him. Oh. <laughs> you can turn off the ability to um, automatically pick up weapons if you want. It's in the options. It hasn't really bothered me too much yet. Oh. oh Tower of Guns isn't on Switch. Bullshit. Not buying it. That's definitely the attitude I've had recently. I just 
I play so many games on Switch at this point, where if it's not on Switch, I'm much less likely to buy it. That's so mixed. Well, goodbye to the rocket. And the shotgun. Guess I gotta get the crowbar. But if you get the crowbar, then you don't have your infinite ammo for this anymore. And the crowbar sucks ass, so I think you're better off this way. It's up That's, to you, though. You're probably not wrong. I mean, if, even if I got the crowbar, I wouldn't use it. Right. Let's be real. Oh. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here. Or have you already been here? I think there's a chest in here. There's two Actually here. Ooh, tight. After you get these, uh, I'm going to have to ask you something. Wow, great. <laughs> Double infinite ammo. Coil. Well, now that you've found another item, that's, well... So, that last scroll was now 100% an inconvenience. Yep. You don't even have to reload now for the rest of this floor. Well, what I was, I was going to ask you to fire your kunai for me, because I remember watching Jerma play this, and he got that scroll. And the effect went away after another weapon spawned and not after he picked one up. And I remember I was wondering if that would have gone into effect because you were in the room with the crowbar. But now it's too late. Uh, you already have infinite ammo again anyway. <laughs> that whale took so much damage from the exploding pot. So did I. <laughs> Hi, John Tolbert. Give me your snake power. Or no. Not. We're just here for aesthetics. Why do you think we do things? Still loading up on steak. Oh, here's the boss again. All right. You're not, again, not super well equipped for it, but you can try to find more weapons. You're not guaranteed to find them. Is the eye is a weak point? You the big boss? No, I think I never quite understood how this boss worked. I think you have to destroy the sarcophagi first. All of them? At least a lot of No, a lot of them, but not all of them. I never quite understood this boss. Okay, yeah, the meter's going down. Holy shit, you're right. The kunai is actually pretty good for this boss. It's just hard to hit the thing himself once you have to. Excuse me, baby. I'm the baby. I think now you have to shoot him. Now that the bar is red. 
Yeah, because you're not doing uh, damage to the sarcophagi anymore. At least you have infinite ammo. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. Because ammo is definitely a problem during the bosses because you get so few drops. That's what the mummies are for. Luckily, the kunai is pretty powerful. Yeah, like I said, definitely one of the best weapons in the game. This is the PC version. I bought it for him. Blame Jacob. Yeah. I knew you were going to come out there. Bam! Nice. Oh, that's your first boss. Hey. One thing I will definitely spoil slash recommend is that uh, once you uh, buy the shop, you can buy a... Actually, wait. Won't get there yet, so just keep going. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, yeah. The Phoenix is actually another weapon you get. You get it when you use Ekmet. All right, never mind. I won't spoil what I was about to say. You say when you unlock the store, you can buy things. That's what I was going to say. Very useful information. There you are, door. Hello, door. Since I've got infinite ammo for the rest of the floor, I might as well clear everything out. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Ain't me ever thought of that. Well, there's the Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, the Sekhmet weapon, like, that's all it is, and you shoot, like, three at once. But it has probably the slowest rate of fire. So honestly, having this scroll is probably better than having the actual weapon. No babies. Oh, really hope you don't die. Probably won't. Your fucking steak magnet over here. Going to Walmart is quite an unfortunate event for you. <laughs> Just meat flying at me. <laughs> He's like, sir, what are you doing? Mr. Shaw, we banned you for a reason. <laughs> banned from anywhere with meat. Not vegan by choice, but just desperation. <laughs> oh my god, so much money! And I collect it all before it disappears. Yeah, I'd get up there quick, use those platforms. Oh, another scroll. Oh, that could help. I don't think it'll let you jump that high, though. Oh. High enough. Oh, tight. You got a lot of scrolls in this run. Press the wrong button again. I meant to reload, but then I... it's because I forgot I have infinite ammo. Right. I had that problem in Doom 2016 a lot because you don't reload in that game. I kept pressing what, whatever, like square. I don't, I don't remember what that does in the game. I think it takes out your chainsaw. But regardless, I kept pressing that to try to reload. 
leap over the crowbar. I don't want it. Just another fucking scroll. Nice. Money for crits. Oh, yeah. You get health and money every time you get a crit. Yeah. I should drink this guy. Wherever the hell he went. Drink this guy? Trank. Oh. I thought you said Ooh, drink. Um, trank. Sid shot. Trank. Use that word in so long. I have stolen that position from High Wing. Lucker? Filthy Lucker. Isn't that a Warcraft 3 thing or something? Because I got that from Delicious Cinnamon and that's where they got it from. I have no idea. I think that's everything. Ah. <laughs> I float so gently. Feels like I'm standing on a cloud. What's everybody's favorite multiplayer game? Uh, I don't know. Thanks for the question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll always have a soft spot for soft spot, a soft spot for TF2 and Overwatch, even though I don't play them so much anymore. I feel like Mario Maker 2 is going to be up there for me, even though you can't fucking play with friends online for some goddamn forsaken reason. Why is Nintendo like? I almost said like Vince McMahon levels of idiotic genius, but they're not that bad. <laughs> oh, those are doors. What's that? Where the hell are they? Nintendo is still incompetent at online. They don't have to be. Like. This isn't even like, okay. Oh my god, <laughs> that was, that was a that can only be described as a fuck zone. Uh, but they don't have to be in this fucking situation because it's not like you know what, Smash Ultimate servers don't work right. It's stupid, it shouldn't, especially for a company with as much money as Nintendo. But I understand that. Like, not having multiplayer with friends in Mario Maker 2, it was a conscious decision. It's not something not working. It's working as intended, and it's stupid. Like, I was like, oh boy, Yoshi and Dakota, I, I fucking thorn if you're going to get the game. I can't wait to play fucking these fun multiplayer maps with you online. Guess I fucking can't. things that should be missing. I know, right? Like, maybe they'll add it later. Definitely feel like that's something they should do. You, like, threaded the needle with those pots. Yep. I remembered what they did to me. Can't forget. This has just been a week of disappointing news about Mario Maker 2. The game still looks fucking phenomenal, but there's no multiplayer online with friends. There's no amiibo support, which, God, that hurt my heart. I have so many amiibo now. Now you're just gonna fucking tell me that you can't use them. 
Oh, crit with a kunai, that's gotta be rough. Yeah. Not the kunai rocks. You keep finding your favorite weapons. Like I just, I just realized you found the drink get on a gun again. Even though we went through that whole drink situation. Yeah. <laughs> I am weird and musically referential, no matter what. So. I'm percent fine with mystery costume not being a thing. Uh, I'm. I mean, you can feel that way. I definitely don't, because I loved it. I only wish that you could keep the costume after being hit. That's like my only problem with it. Bat meat. Why take it out? I feel like it could also be like a licensing thing because the the one of the big hooking points of amiibo support in mario maker one is that it was compatible with all amiibo at the time like every single one that was released you could use in mario maker one at, at the time of release but now there's so many amiibo for so many like third party characters like the dark souls guy cloud bayonetta bayonetta's nintendo published that probably wouldn't be an issue but still fucking loot goblin from diablo 3 They'd probably have a rough time getting them all. In your ass. Mario Maker 1 didn't have every amiibo unlock a costume. They they did at launch. At launch, every amiibo that had been released beforehand, you could oh. use in Mario Maker 1. Um, and a lot of the future ones as well, but not all of them. Because, like, you can't use the third parties. You can't, of course, use any... You essentially can't use any third parties. Certain third parties, that is. Or any that came out after the game stopped being supported. Like, obviously, like, the Smash Ultimate ones you ain't going to be able to use. Oh, shit. The fucking assault rifle crossbow. Oh my crossbow. god. This weapon rocks ass. From the Van Helsing movie. Because I saw the chest under the grate and I thought, okay, do I unlock that? And I just looked around and found the path. There's a couple, there's a couple things I'm super bummed about about Mario Maker 2, but everything else looks so damn good. I'm probably gonna forget about it later. That is not an enemy. That's a statue. <laughs> I thought it was an enemy too. I just realized how well balanced this, this game's weapons are. I feel like every good weapon has some kind of significant downside to make it keep it from being overpowered. Like the kunai is super slow. The automatic crossbow is it, it's really strong, but it's not hit scan and it chews through ammo really quickly. Is a 3D roguelike. Oh. Fucking damn it. <laughs> you tried so hard not to hit him. No, I just straight up forgot. Oh. I it will looked never like you learn. Were actively, it looked like you were actively avoiding those barrels or, or pots. 
then you backed up into it by accident. Another scroll. Oh, fuck off! Ah. Well, at least you could choose. Oh, well, guess it won't be that one. I would go with the crossbow. Yeah. Something that can kill things and quickly. Yeah. I like how much slower you fall than the platform. Another scroll, Jesus. That's cool. Invincibility frames. Really wish they'd make a Bomberman amiibo. That'd be cool, but I feel like amiibo are finally kicking the bucket. I feel like after uh, all the Smash ones are out, there's probably not going to be any more. Oh, I'm out of drink. Big crate of ammo. Yeah. It's kind of need it. There you go. One gun. Oh, your health turns blue when you get hit when you're invincible. I don't know why. That was very aesthetically pleasing. See, there's a crossbow now, an automatic crossbow. Iron that. Yeah. Earn that one coin. You have a lot of money. And again, you are on, like, the fifth floor. Yeah. Well, there's still one little baby running around. Keep a gabba gooba. I keep whacking my head on the ceiling. Burn. Burn. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, this room again. And the rocket launcher again. Mm. <laughs> Will you replace it? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. Where did he go? Look around. Maybe he went upstairs? Oh yeah, I saw him, he's upstairs. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's gone exploring. I'm here to find my parents. Are you all gone? <laughs> like that, like, I don't think it was a Dr. Seuss book, but it was one of those very Seuss-esque books, like, where is my, are you my mama or whatever? What? No, you don't remember that book? It's like this bird going around asking various animals if they're his mom. It was one of those like cat in the hat, like reader's choice books. Oh, that damn it. By Doc oh, <laughs> I didn't notice the mission either. Yeah, this you once you fail a mission, the, the room's pretty much useless. Yeah, Are You My Mother? That's the book. 
feel like I might have read that, but P.D. Eastman. I just had the thought to read it on stream, and I'm like, that's a bad idea. That might be a cop hey. copyright problem. Re reading a book on YouTube? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I never thought of that. I remember once I screamed at the Sneeches to CJ. Make some noise for the motherfucking Queen Gun, comrade. Oh, the assault rifle is actually much worse than the crossbow, uh, crossbow machine gun. Because of all right. that recoil. The crossbow is definitely one of the better weapons. I flew right over a jar. As I tried avoiding it so it wouldn't explode. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> This room again. Come on, Martin, eat your pill. Oh. Come on, Martin, it. do drugs. Your antibiotics for your fucking teeth. Here. What do you know? Getting a cat to take a pill is hard. Stick it in some cheese. Hmm. I tried sticking it in his food, but it just kind of sunk to the bottom because it was wet food. We got to make it a special treat. Yeah. We tried to, we wanted to like smash it up and like mix it in his food, but it, that, that pill is really hard. Oh, damn. <laughs> Take care of the monkeys first. Okay, worked out better than I thought it would. You're still at such high health. You're, you might make it to the end of this pyramid in this run. So the I, I have not done since I've re started replaying the game. Truly beginner's luck, I guess. You may just be good at games. I mean, I did beat Sonic 06. True. With minimal difficulty. Oh, oh hang on. Bow and arrow. Oh my god. Machine gun. <laughs> no, and arrow. <laughs> I, was, I feel like I've already said this, but I always get sad when a treasure chest doesn't have a scroll in it. Yeah, another problem with the crossbow machine gun. Fire's really fast, but... The clip isn't really that big. No. It, it, it'll gobble up your ammo. Fucker. 
<laughs> I have to get just one more. Luckily, now that you have that scroll that gives you invinci like invincibility frames, you're not going to be like taking damage from a sea of pots anymore. If you accidentally trance through one. I meant to say trance, but trance is also a good word. <laughs> then you just do it like subconsciously. <laughs> Must walk through pots. Oh. You're just loaded right now. I'm eating too much meat. I'm constipated. Man, I got a shit. That's my witty southern commentary. <laughs> got a shit. <laughs> I kind of wish he said that every once in a while. With nothing to prompt it. Oh, this room blows! Like the pots. You think it was a case of that's how the line was written in the script, but then the voice actor was like, I can improv. I don't know. Frog's bullshit. You understand what I mean about the character, though? Yeah. He's definitely not as bad as I thought he was. I was definitely expecting worse. What helps is that A, he doesn't talk very often, and B, he's, like, not very loud. In your ear, anyway. He talks loud, but he's not... Other characters like this have are, like, really have, like, this really compressed voice. That's like always directly in your eardrum. That might be, I guess, depend. Oh, that's not super great, but my clips were small to begin with, relatively. Right. I just do not learn. <laughs> um, you will never get used to not walking through the barrels. And I will never get used to calling them pots, apparently. I keep fucking calling them barrels. That one just straight walked in one. <laughs> Excellent. It's a mummy from Wind Waker. This is what happens when Pizza Joe fails his mission. <laughs> All the enemies go to Egypt, and the true and the true hero of time emerges. Fucking redneck. I live in the past. Zelda looks on at what's happening. She's like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Oh, hi. Maybe I should look up. It couldn't have been the fucking cute boy with the cool sword. It has to be this fucking trailer trash guy. Oh, you're out of ammo. Oh, no, you're not. I picked Did up a shiv with no ammo. A shiv? Or a kunai. Oh, okay. Are those... That might have been the... When you drop... What? Really? There's no ammo with that? No ammo. Kind of sense that... How? Was that the one you dropped before? No. 
Yeah, that was in like another floor. I don't know what the deal with that is. You know, it said my gun would have more maximum damage. It doesn't feel like it does. It feels like I just lost ammo. I feel like you lost more ammo than your weapon got damage. Yeah. Oh, there's... They call it curses. They're scrolls. They could be blessings or curses, depending on the one you get. Lauren currently has 7.3 million of them. Almost, ha almost has as many scrolls as he has stake. Oh, cool. More treasure chests. I think there's like four in this room. Another scroll. Great. I'll just move faster. Okay. Except the enough. That was a lucrative room. <laughs> I remember Jerma got like three of that scroll once. And he was just <laughs> and he got the one where you couldn't stop running. <laughs> <laughs> That's the now that's that's what the Twitch chat in integration can get you. Uh, oh, don't get hurt. Don't touch the fucking pots. I did it. Uh, oh, you almost touched the pots. Well, I did now, but I already opened the treasure chest. Yeah. Oh, hey. Fills all your ammo and health. Great. I think it was full anyway. I think it was too. That shit. Yeah, it's not great. Not compared to that. Few things are good compared to the crossbow machine gun. This game allows you to pick up ammo at max. Kind of dumb. Well, it, it disappears after a while anyway. It's not like you can come back and get it anyway. I guess it's stupid at that moment. Wait. Where in the hell do I go? Okay. I'm noticing you're extremely floaty in this game. That's that's because Thorn got a scroll that makes uh, makes the gravity low. You're not normally this floaty. Oh, so many enemies. Ah, babies. Ah. I like their little collars. Oh, more. My God. That was like all that was in this room was snakes and up two of the chunky guys. They look like the baby versions of the snake men from Sense Fortress. I've never even heard of that. Because you haven't gotten there yet in Dark Souls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna... I'm almost at, I've, 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 oh my god, you're at the top floor. You're ready. Let's I hope think, so. I think you have a good weapon for this. Kind of reminds me of the boss, uh, one of the bosses from Mario Odyssey. Where it's the disturber. Did you get the license on the truck that hit you? What was I supposed to do about that? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's some platforms. 
Oh my god, that in that those invincibility frames are gonna be very useful. I really believe in you. Oh, but they do so much damage still. Want a hand? No pun intended. <laughs> I could use it, yeah. Oh shit. The green things on the bottom. Okay, I kind of figured. Oh no! Get on platform. Get on platform. Fuck. Damn it! Yeah, the bosses in this game don't fuck around. That one's okay. It's okay the first time. Aha. Sekhmed. Shit into steak. Yeah. Oh, maximum health increases with each new room. Oh, yeah. I, wow, I forgot. I never noticed a passive skill, so I forgot about that. That sounds really good. I'm taking that. And one thing to keep in mind that I haven't brought up is that the health pickups that she turns things into are not full stakes. They're a little they're actually I think they're like chicken legs. They don't refill quite as much, but it can still help you refill a little health, especially if you have a room like full of money and you already have plenty. That still sounds OK to me. Yeah, it's OK. And one especially thing with how I've been doing. Right. Uh, one thing that's not immediately obvious is that you can go back to the sarcophagus you spawned from to change your god. Change your because god. Because it... Yeah, because um, right now you're redneck, and to equip Sekhmet, you can go back to the sarcophagus. Redneck is his own god. Yes. He's I the one too much he... to unlock the merchant, damn it. <laughs> yeah, he, he starts with the... Sh Honestly, one of the better... Um, one of the better loadouts with the pistol, shotgun, and dynamite. Sekhmet's loadout isn't great because it has the Ankh in it, and the Ankh sucks. But the health pow the health bonuses are quite useful. He's also pretty. Of course, the big cat god gives you more meat. Up. Double pistols. Oh, there's your dual wielding, whoever asked for it in chat. And th this is the Phoenix that I was telling you about. What do you think? It's one so more big. round? Yeah, one more round ought to do it. Because I'm definitely, I'm very into this. I'm glad. I love this game. I bought it twice. That should that ought, that ought to tell you. Then again, I have bought about seven games twice since they came out on Switch. The Phoenix is good because it locks on the multiple enemies as long as there's not one in the way to take the whole brunt. I'm not sure if that god is in this game, Kirik. Gear. Oh, 
Oh no. The frog, oh, there's so many big frogs. Oh, but good news, scroll. Please Thank be good. God, good scrolls are more likely. <laughs> You've not been getting too many bad ones. But the bad ones I've gotten have really fucked me over. That's true. This might be a good use for the Onk. He's pretty weak enemies. And hey, I can break the pots again. Oh yeah, you can. But you're still gonna avoid them subconsciously for a little while. I mean, I kept failing to do that when they were exploding, so... I know, that's just the way it is. It's like when you change a control scheme because you don't like it, but you still use the same control scheme for a while. So you change it back because you can't get used <laughs> to the new one, and then you start using the new one. I did not see the pictures of your pup fur. Are they in the Discord? Yonk is it horribly unpowerful? Mm. Just ain't oh, much. That's a good doggy. It's a good doggy. Yeah, it's 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 just it's a low rate of fire, and its complete inability to take down, even be remotely competent against larger enemies. has infinite ammo does it just flat benefit from that lower ammo slash more damage scroll and the scroll will stack yeah if you already have infinite amp if, if it like if honestly getting that scroll with this onk is like let's say the onk was your only weapon and you got that scroll it'd be pretty bad because you would only get one benefit from it when you would normally get two with another weapon you would still get infinite ammo and you would get uh, more damage, but it already had infinite ammo. If you don't get infinite or -er ammo. You shoot a phoenix and switch to another weapon while it travels? I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I think so. I don't use the phoenix often, so I don't know 100%. his infinite er ammo work <laughs> I, don't, I don't know ask Albert Einstein I guess I would just give you like double shots it's like it's still infinite but you're firing more at once Infinity sounds like dividing by zero. Pretty sure it is. 
except this time it's multiplying by infinity. No, oh, not this shit again. Oh, fucking do it, I believe. Oh, singed your bum. Singed it again. Don't be, don't be too reckless. Oh, you're so low. This is where you die. Ah, go! I think you can do it. Yeah. Better have been worth it. Yes. Ooh, got the shotgun. Gets rid of bad scrolls. You didn't have any. <laughs> so. Shotgun. Possibly, I mean, yeah, it was worth it for the shotgun. Just be really careful getting back. Yeah. Oh, wait. Was that? Oh, no, that room doesn't lead anywhere. Never mind. You need steak. Don't forget the ability. Like, if, oh, there's some steak. So if you see any, you definitely uh, gonna want to pick that up. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say you definitely gonna want to pick up the big steaks first because they will turn into smaller steaks. Still a net positive. Yeah. the sound design in this game. I'm glad you do because it was really bad at first. Like all the guns sounded really weak, but they updated it. They changed all the gun sound effects and now they're so much better. Well, it's like on that topic, one of my favorite little things about the sound design is the little noise that plays when you kill the final enemy so that you just, you know, without having to look at the bar that you're done with this room. <laughs> I feel like if it sounded like that, take a few points off the sound design. Oh god. Oh no! Oh my god, play some fucking Toro with these guys. Oh, why did those other two two phoenixes like swerve away? That was bullshit. Oh, good, it even turns money into food. Yep, turns any item into food. I think including scrolls. time trial you immediately fail because you already <laughs> won why are you going back here oh there's another door sorry i'm the dum dum healing god lady has the lowest damage of all the gods it's true she does she's not a damage dealer she's a survivor yeah. Strike. Oh! I hope that worked as I thought. Oh, I only turned one thing up there to, to the fucking chicken. Do I have to be looking at it? Yeah, it has to be in your line of sight. Okay. Wasn't too bad. You've still been quite low on health for a while. So you just gotta watch your ears.
And also my front. <laughs> you have mostly your front. I'm still scared of pots. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it hadn't recharged yet. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, yeah, bottom right, there you go. Yeah. Like, I so rarely use my active ability so that I, I forget where the meter is. I really only used it when I play as when I use Sekhmet. Because it's probably the most. Holy shit, I think that was the Tesla sword. Oh no, it was a crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to get your hopes up. <laughs> like the Tesla sword's not that great anyway. It's very slow. Did not mean to do that. Try to try to sprint again. Oh yeah, bonk him. Give him the bonking. Ah, eat your heart out, Mr. Freeman. Double pistols. Ah, uh, he said. He said the. Th he said the thing. He referenced the thing. Talking about my tax, man. Damn it! I meant to reload. Gordon Freeman is your tax man. Oh god. At least I can run through pots this time. Yeah. It's not nearly as intimidating. I forgot I had the shotgun. Yeah. Freeman is Gorman. Gorman? Gordon Freeman's brother. You keep you keep running into this room. Oh yeah, because there's actual there's actual doors in here. That's pretty rare for a time trial room. Usually it's just one door leading in and one door out. Uh, the same door out. Yeah, that was a little weird. Oh, I lost so much health right oh, away. But there's a lot of money there that you can turn into chicken. Oh, never mind. I thought more there not. was more. Oh, damn. All damn right, it. Well. He still didn't say the line. Taser sword. A taser sword, that's what I was talking about. I don't like Steph myself. Cause I you like the Tesla coil a lot, I don't my And get Apis, why not? Yeah, may as well. Alrighty, but we're gonna call that there. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. I really dig this. Yeah. I fucking love this game. It's on Switch. That's the one I play it most on, but I also have it on PC. I think it's on PS4 and Xbox One as well. I don't see why it wouldn't be. If this is a Steam version, like we said, Jacob bought this for me. Thank you again. Yeah, you're welcome. 
I'm glad you like it. And it runs very smoothly for me. Like, I am running on a pretty good rig, but... Even then, some games can still lag and what have you, but... No, I'm running this 1600 by 900, so I can downscale it to 720p. And it's... Yep. Damn near 60 FPS constantly. My rig is less impressive than yours, and it still runs really well. So, this is not a hard game to run. I highly recommend it. It's only 20 bucks. Uh, it's a ton of fun, and it'll give you hours of content because it is pretty challenging, especially the bosses. So, you're not it's not a game you're going to finish real quick unless you're just extremely good at these kinds of games. And I almost was. You almost were. You made it to you at least made it to the final boss. That's of the pyramid. It's not Martin. It's not Martin. Martin no, well, it's not, but he's also rubbing his face on my microphone. <laughs> um, it's not a it's not an easy feat is what I'm saying. Stop. All right, we should probably end this off before Martin ruins everything with his face. All right, thank you all for watching. Bye.